Yo, what's going on, YouTube? How you guys doing? So, they, uh, I already made a video on this, but they changed Trail Torment again to be a really, really strong stealth perk. And I thought it would be a good opportunity to try Stealth Billy 2.0. We did a video on Stealth Billy before. This was whenever they first reworked him and they gave him all these add-ons that kind of helped his stealth. But it didn't really work the greatest. I mean, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't great either. I'll leave a link to that video below in case you guys want to go back and watch it. It, it, it didn't, uh, spoiler alert, it didn't work the best. It, it was okay though, it was okay. But I think we can do it again and I think it'll work a little bit better this time because of Trail of Torment. I think this is a, a real game changer here. So again, if you guys don't know what they changed about this, uh, now Trail of Torment makes it so that when you kick a generator, you stay undetectable until either someone works in that generator again or until you down somebody. Like nothing else stops it. So if you kick a gen that's like 90% done, and you just like walk away from it and no one works on it as long as you don't down anybody you're undetectable for like like two whole minutes or some shit it's crazy so we formulated a whole build around it uh we're gonna be combining trail torment obviously with tinker which is another stealth perk whenever gens get almost done so we'll be able to sneak up on them pop goes the weasels here to help us with regression also because it combos with uh trail torment well i can hook someone kick a gen get undetectable and regress it at the same time and then discordance is there so i can hopefully know when people are on gens and sneak up on them when i'm silent ideally i think now this build's a little bit weird i might end up changing out pop goes the weasel because i feel like the fact that it regresses gens might actually be bad because it might screw over our trail our trail tournament if it fully regresses the gen and i just i feel like it might be better to have another tracking perk like i mean I'm a, I'm a little bit worried that while i'm stealthy i'm not going to know where to look right like i only have discordance and if discordance isn't going off and i basically have nothing as far as knowing where to look so i don't know i might change that out for the second game haven't decided my add-ons are apex muffler obviously this is the one where the chainsaw is silent for people outside your terror radius and when you're undetectable everybody is outside your terror radius so assuming i get undetectable i'm just i'm completely silent even while chainsawing and i'm going to combine it with doom engravings because i want to go fast i want i want it so that if they see me coming and i'm silent they barely even have any time to react so i want to go fast i want to be thuman so we're running doom engravings also, we're running Goth Boy Billy. We're putting on the darkest clothes we can. I usually play with my Legacy, but it's a little bit too shiny. So, uh, Goth Boy Billy it is. Let's, uh, here. For, for the first game, actually, I'll try one game on a corn map to see if I can get some corn snipes. And then I think we'll try the second game on an indoor map, depending on how it goes. So, let's do corn first. Let's just see how this works. All right, Thompson House. I was really hoping I would get Rotten Fields here, but, you know, I guess beggars can't be choosers. I'll take anything that has corn, really. As long as there's, like, a couple generators in the corn, and it looks like there is, that's really the important thing here. We just need generators in corn, you know? Oh, hello. Um, hello. I'm going to be honest with you. I was just trying to cut the corner as tight as I could so I can then chase whoever was over here. But I guess she just cornered up and, I mean, I, you know, you know, I'll take it. I'll take it, man. See, this is where Pop Goes the Weasel kind of screws me because, like, I can't kick that generator without it, like, oh, shit, sprint burst. I can't kick that generator without it regressing the whole way to zero, which then doesn't give me any Trail of Torment. Also, I could have hit that curve. She, uh, where did she go? Is she over here? That Meg just killed herself. That Meg literally just killed herself. She she literally just let go. She got chainsawed like across the map and then just let go. Sad. That's very sad. Very, very sad. Are you gonna? Please? Please, please don't let go too. Oh shit. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Give me, hurry, 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 hurry. Get the look. Come on, man. Faster. We gotta go. I'm not gonna get there in time. There's no way. I'm gonna be completely silent though. My saw won't be making sound. I won't be making sound. Oh, he's in a jungle gym. I might be able to. Oh shit, they got off it already. Feels bad. Man, you know what? I can regress it with pop though, and then I can get perma stealth. Perma stealth. She's not gonna hear it coming. She's not gonna hear this coming. Fuck, she turned around. If she didn't turn around, she would have had no idea, dude. Like, if she didn't turn her camera around randomly, she would have had no clue I was even coming. Oh, I forgot about overheat. Um, that's awkward. Hi. How are you doing? Hey. What's up? Yeah, my chainsaw is pretty hot. Yeah. Yeah, it got really, really hot. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of weird, huh? Yep. 
It got really, really fucking hot. She probably thinks I was like trying to camp. I really wasn't. I was just trying to wait for my chainsaw to come back. Fucking overheat mechanic, dude. All right, we'll get her. We'll try to sneak back over there. I'm thinking, I'm hoping that like I can, she was right there, but that's okay. I'm hoping I can like stop here. She probably won't be able to hear any of this, right? <laughs> Wait, what? How did I miss? Wait, what? Do I, hello? Wait, actually, hello? What? <laughs> I was like, what? How did that chainsaw miss? Like, legitimately, how did that miss? I pulled right up on her. I'm so confused. I was getting so hyped because it worked literally perfectly. Like, it literally worked, like, exquisitely perfect. I revved the saw while turning the corner and she didn't hear any of it. But how did I miss her? I'm, like, actually so confused. Did they, like, make the chainsaw hitbox smaller or something? Is, it, is there, like, something going on here? Because I genuinely do not know how that missed. I mean, regardless, it still worked really well. Like, I think they weren't able... I would really love to, like, hear... I would love to, like, see the point of view of the survivor and, like, listen to exactly what they hear. Because I'm not exactly sure what they hear and don't hear, you know? So, I'm assuming it was nothing. Like, I'm assuming I could roll up with my chainsaw, end it, like, basically... Hey? I'm assuming I could basically do the exact same thing I did to that Kate, and they, sh they shouldn't hear anything, right? Like, me rolling up with my chainsaw, ending it, and then revving it around... Oh. What was I saying? Revving it around the corner, and then they shouldn't hear any of it, right? Like, I think. Which is pretty awesome. That is, like, what I'm hoping for. Also, uh, typical game of Dead by Daylight out here, dude. I don't know where this last guy is, but I feel like we're gonna have an awkward hatch standoff now, because, like, what else is there to do? Are you doing any gens? Oh, oh, hello. I'm gonna give this guy hatch. I feel a little bad. I'm gonna give this guy hatch. He had like two teammates DC. His last one was fucking AFK. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the part of me looking for hatch with him and just cut right to him jumping in hatch. Perfect, perfect, good, good, perfect. All right, well, GG's. That I mean, it worked. It did work. Like, it definitely worked. It's honestly a shame that everyone DC'd, because that was working really, really freaking well, man. My lord. Uh, yeah, understandable. Sorry, the first dude. Oops, sorry, the first dude killed himself. On hook. Pretty shitty. GG's. Good luck next. Yeah, uh, that was pretty unlucky. I really wanted to see how that was going to go, because it was working, like, pretty good, to be honest. Like, it worked a lot better than I thought it was going to. So, uh, fucking shame, dude. The GG's. All right, we're going to try this a second time, but we're going to do it on an indoor map this time. Um, I'm a little bit torn on this because it, it, on an indoor map, engravings are, like, terrible. Especially on a map like Larry's where there's, where there's vaults everywhere. The extra charge time you get from engravings will make it so that you don't get a lot of chainsaws that you would normally get. So I can't really run engravings. So instead, I'm going to throw on Leafy Mash. This is the add-on that makes it so when you land a chainsaw, you get 15 seconds of undetectable. And I think this might work really well. Because if I get in one of those situations like I got into last game where I should have chainsawed that Kate on that generator, let's just pretend it landed, okay? Pretend I landed that chainsaw on that on that Kate. I would have then got 15 more seconds of undetectable. So I kind of could have, like, I could have kept it going, right? So I feel like even after you down someone with Trail Torment, if you down them with a chainsaw, then like Leafy Mash kind of keeps the keeps the stealth alive for at least another 15 seconds, which I think could be good. Maybe again, I feel like it would be better if I had more information, but I'm not really sure like what information perk to run, to be honest. Like I, I, I wish there was something I could think of that could help me, but I don't really know. So I'm just going to leave this up and we'll see how this works. Uh, let's try it again. Let's do it. All right. Well, we got the map. They burnt a bunch of cakes. So these guys are having a they're having a party. Uh, hopefully we can actually make this work here. I, I feel like this is one of those ones where I feel like in my head it sounds good, but I'm not sure how good it'll actually work in practice. I see a guy right there. You gonna throw that? All right. Like a free pallet. I'm okay with that. Dude playing with fire out here going for the stun though. 
Yeah, what are you doing, man? Oh, uh, fuck, dude. I let him get a little bit too much distance. This is okay with me. Man, this guy is weird. What a strange way to play that. Oh, no. I was trying to get the 180 curve and I messed it up. Fuck. I'm getting greedy. I'm getting greedy for chainsaws here that I shouldn't be going for. What the hell is this guy doing? He's so weird. Like, he just doesn't drop pallets. It's so odd. That's such a strange play style. I feel like usually I know how people play and I can just, like, predict what they're gonna do. This guy was fucking weird, man. I don't know what that was all about. He just, like, refuses to throw pallets. Wow, that was an instant unhook. Hello, friends. I'm not gonna bother kicking that. It wouldn't give me undetectable anyway. Ah, oh, I was hoping there'd be a wall there, but there wasn't. Oh, I got undetectable from Tinker. See if we can make some use of it. Okay, we're gonna be dead silent. Can they see me through the window? I went overheat! Oh, I hate the overheat mechanics so much, dude. I gotta get some pop value here. Fuck, I hate the overheat mechanics so much. God, dude, why do they have to add this to Billy? Fuck, man. That's so depressing. Let's see if we can sneak up on someone else doing a gen. Like this guy. Hi. See, and this, and this is kind of what I mean about Leafy Mash. I can kind of keep it going. I know this dude ran over here. Ah. Look at that. Look at that. Leafy Mash value, baby. Oh my God, would you look at that Leafy Mash. That mash sure is leafy. My God, is it leafy. Let me hook him here. We can kick this with pop. Not for the sake of regressing it, just for the sake of like using our pop on something just because we're about to hook Meg too. Right, right, right. Where can we take her? I guess we'll take her over here. This doesn't really matter too much. What gen are they working on, though? This is where it sucks not having barbecue. We haven't gotten a single proc of Discordance, by the way, in either one of these games. What the fuck are you doing? Jane, you are so weird. This Jane is so weird. She continues to be so weird. Leapy match value, baby! Oh, I tried to, like, hard curve around this. I didn't know there, there was a door here. Feel, feels bad. He might get an unhook here. That guy killed himself on hook. Welp. Well, what are you going to do over here, man? Wow, he did it too. Are they trolling this bill? Are they straight up trolling this bill? He went up to unhook two people and both of them let go unhook like right before he got to them. I think he's getting trolled by his team, dude. This poor fucking guy. <laughs> Everyone just letting go unhook. Oh, shit. I mean, that worked so well that we killed them like before they even got a single gen done. So, wow. Uh, all I'll say is, wow. We're definitely going to give this at least a third game, if not a fourth. If our third game goes as fast as these first two games, maybe I'll give it a fourth game, too. But uh, let's just cut straight to the end game screen since this is already over. All right. Well, DG, that was a uh, that was a real fast one. I don't know why I still have a killer challenge or a survivor challenge equipped. I, I could probably change that out, huh? I mean, hey, it's not like the matchmaking is bad. I mean, these guys are red ranks. The last guy was the last people were red ranks, too. I don't know. These games are just kind of slaughters, man. I feel like people are just giving up on hook a lot and we I mean we are snowballing decently well but I don't man crazy I don't know I need to I need to get like an actual good match going with this to see how it works so uh GG's okay for this last one I didn't bother to burn a map offering I figured I would just let it give us whatever and I feel like every time I do that I get maps like mother's dwelling but that's okay at least it's not Ormond you know what I mean better than Ormond I feel like that could be the punchline that, like like that can be like like you know when you enter a city and they have those like plaques it's like welcome to seattle and then it has like a little catchphrase for like the city i feel like that could be the one for mother's dwelling mother's dwelling at least it's not ormond you know that's pretty good that's pretty good i, I I'd, I'd come visit that would be enough for me to come visit honestly tourism would be through the roof if i was mayor of mother's dwelling oh hi oh god i, I feel sneeze coming on oh god can i wait for the chase please Oh god, no. <coughs> it couldn't wait. It couldn't wait. Wait, what are you doing? Can I just like... Oh, no, where'd she go? Fuck, I sneezed and I looked away and I didn't see where she went. <laughs> Fuck, man. Why do I have to sneeze? Why does my body have to function? Why can't it just like not? 
Whoa, I got a phantom saw, dude. What the hell? I just got a phantom saw. I didn't even cancel that saw. I kept it going and it canceled on its own. At least we got Discordance to proc at least once this game. Or this this whole video, I should say. This is the first time it's proc to all video, so that's nice. We'll probably throw this, but... Oh, they did it and I could have curved him, but then I fucked up. Man, I am fucking up really hard right now. I'm like actually just fucking this all up. This is a rough one. Ow. Oh. My saw is still silent, but you can see me, so it doesn't really matter. I can't get up to that gen quickly, so it doesn't really matter that it's like being worked on. I don't think I can do this curve because there's a tree there. That tree cucks over my curve, which feels bad. I can maybe curve around this other side. Like if I get him to not drop this, I think I can curve around this other side. Yeah, but he's gonna drop it. He's too smart. He's too smart. Unlucky. Okay, we can try to sneak up on this though. Man, she crawled away. Hi. Hi, Blendy. Dude, it almost gave me a false saw there too. What's happening? That chainsaw almost missed. Also, I'm pretty much overheated. Oh! Overheat mechanic is awesome and I love it. I'm really glad it exists. It's really great. Thank you for that behavior. We love we love overheat. We lo I love having the M1. Woo! Hell yeah. Overheat mechanic, baby. Hey, dude. I was just gonna pick up the Claudette, but hey, this works too. Do you have balance or are you just being a goober right now? Both. He has balance, but he's also being a goober. I'm gonna break this. I think I can just pick her up here. I know he's got a flashlight, but he's he's behind me, so he's not gonna be able to get it in time. I kind of need to hook here so I can maybe try to kick that gen with pot before they finish it. Man, there's so many gens that are almost done though. I'm gonna kick this one and regress it. So that way I'll have Trail Torment active. And then maybe I can make it back to that gen before they finish it. It's gonna go right past this guy. Man, they see me coming. I don't think Mother's Dwelling is very good for this. Gonna be honest with you. I feel like my stealth is doing literally nothing. All right, I mean, we have Leafy Mash, but like, I don't really know what that does for us right now. I don't think it does a lot of anything. I think they're pretty much fine. I'm gonna hook her to get Pop. I think I can get back there with Pop, right? They finish that gen over there. Yeah, there's no stealth to be had, dude. There's literally just no stealth to be had. W was that Claudette injured? What the hell are you doing? What what are you doing, Claudette? <laughs> Giving me free Pop Goes the Weasels uh, uh, uses, apparently. Come here. Do we... Uh, which gen did we kick? Did we kick that one over there? I don't think we did. That one. Yeah, no, they just finished it. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. We're not able to get the snowball going this game, dude. There's, like, no snowballing to be had. Oh, so close. Hey, dude. Yeah, you're going to make that. That sucks. I can't believe I didn't at least get an M1 hit there. Interesting. I think he might come back, but I'm not sure. Nope, he just ran away. Hi, Dwight. He's in a pretty strong spot, and he's a pretty good survivor, so I'm just going to let him go, and I'm going to come back to these guys. I don't think it's wise to chase him. Oh, my dude, these chainsaws. I swear, every single one. I wish I had doom engravings, dude. If I had doom engravings, I would have hit so many of these saws. Like, so many of them are so close to landing. That was a little aggressive, but I figured I'd try for it. All right. Vault the window. Oh, she got live. Oh, she thooming. Oh, she do be thooming, though. Hey, bud. Get a hook on her for pop real quick. I think I can kick this with pop and then still get some trail of torment value out of it. Because I don't know if anybody's here. The Claudette might be stealthing around here. I'm not sure. But I imagine that Dwight's probably on that gen across the map. So I think I can use the stealth to go... Well, just kidding. They're over there on that gen. Uh, don't run into anything. Dude, they just... They know I'm coming from, like, miles away. Like, there is no stealth at all. 
Like she she was already off that gen before I got anywhere fucking close to it. But she also didn't see my red light, so she didn't know to vault. So it feels good, man. Put her on that gen as well, the whole way over there. I can't really do anything about it, man. I'm gonna hook her and kick this one. I can't really do anything about it, honestly. I can't really stop it. Like I I, I have I have everything on this build revolving around me getting value out of stealth. And I've gotten no value out of stealth. Not even a slight bit. Making this a little bit tough. Making it a little bit hard out here. Whenever all my perks are doing essentially nothing. Dude's got balance, so he's gonna be running. Dude, like, how many saws can I miss with like an inch, dude? Oh, that's so painful. That's like the fucking, oh man, that's like literally like the third or fourth saw this game that like was just so close to landing. Like literally just a wee bit more. All right, um, I'm not sure whether I should have went to that gen down there or not. I mean, it's not almost done or anything because there's no tinker, but I'm feeling like they might be on it. Maybe. Oh, oh, she's a, uh, She's a uh, decisive strike gamer. Oh, you can go ahead and just get it out of your system. That's fine. <gasps> no, this is the worst timing ever. Dude, I'm getting so unlucky this game. I'm like, yeah, I have time to eat this decisive strike. Like, it's fine. And then the second I pull her out of the locker, Tinker goes off. How am I getting so unlucky this game? I think I can still make it before it gets done. But holy shit, dude. All right, all right, all right. It's okay. It's okay. We're gonna kick it, and we're gonna have stealth for a bit. We don't have Pop Goes the Weasel anymore. Our Pop Goes the Weasel was gone, but we do have our stealth, which is nice. This Fang is just running for the hills. I thought she might stop because I'm stealthing. Hey, dude. See, stealth kind of worked on this guy. That was a good juke. That was a very good juke on his part. I don't know why he didn't throw that there. I kind of just ate that one. I might be able to hook him and get... I'm probably going to get DS'd. He probably has DS. No, he doesn't. Okay. I might be able to hook him and then get back to that gen to kick it with Pop. Nope. Just kidding. It got done. Rip. That gen also got triggered with Tinker, so they, they were on that one, too. I have stealth for a little bit, but don't know if I can get anybody or not. No. No idea where anyone is. Yeah, this was... This was tragic. Okay, so good to know that this stealth build is definitely very, very map dependent. I felt like on Larry's, it was really good. And I felt like even on the corn maps, it was really good. Because it was like really easy to not have line of sight. It's super easy to have line of sight on this on, on, on this map, dude. Like there's so much like wide openness that I felt like I was never able to sneak up on anybody. Like ever. They might also have spine chill. Like maybe I just don't realize that they have spine chill. That was a weird saw to go for. I wasn't sure if it would work or not, but I wanted to try. Um, yeah, they might also have spine chill though, and I might just not know about it. But even still, even still, man, that was definitely rough. Definitely rough. What's up, dude? Gonna kick this? Can't even chainsaw it or else I'll overheat. I should at least be able to get one kill though. Like they're like they're gonna have all the exegates open, but. I need to I need to break the pallet on this side. I can't chase her the other way. I need to chase her this way. If I break the pallet that way, it gives her a head start towards the doors. All right. You should be dead here. U unless I'm boosted and I miss chainsaws, you should be dead here. Which it is definitely possible. I again, don't know how that one missed. That one was like the Kate one from before. I, I felt like I was looking right at her. Legitimately don't know how that one missed. Very fucking weird. I feel like I'm getting robbed today. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, I don't feel like I deserve to miss that one, just like I don't feel like I deserve to miss the one on the K earlier on the gen. Very fucking weird shit happening today. Do not understand. We should still have her, though. Like, the, the doors are very far away. Shit, are one of these windows open? Shit. That sucks. Fuck! What am I doing? Oh god, I'm throwing. I should still have this, right? I don't think she'll be able to make it. God pallet's there. Fuck. Wow, she actually might be able to make this. I gotta cut her off here. I'm 
Right, right, right. My god, this is becoming a fucking chore to kill this this thing. She should have been dead at that tree, dude. I don't know why that chainsaw didn't land. All right, let's try this again. Oh, I'm boosted. Oh, no, I'm boosted. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Remember that time when I was like, oh, I should be able to kill her as long as I'm not boosted. As long as I'm not boosted, I should be able to kill her. <laughs> fuck me, dude. Uh, it happens. What are you going to do? Unlucky. GG's. GG's. <laughs> the only thing that could have saved her was me being boosted as fuck. That was her only out. She had no other outs other than me being completely fucking boosted. Oh, man. Feels so bad. <laughs> <laughs> GG's boys, GG's. Did they have spine chill? This guy had spine chill? Oh yeah, they had two spine chills. I wonder if that had anything to do with it. Wait, who was that? Gorilla Spider was the Claudette, I think, right? And who was the other guy? Uh, Lori. Yeah, Lori was the one that got that big head start at Shaq, right? Man, I think spine chill was fucking me this game. I think spine chill really fucked me over. I think spine chill mixed with the fact that it was such an open map. Because I feel like if it was spine chill on like Larry's, I feel like it wouldn't have been that big of a deal. Because yeah, you know the killer's coming, but you don't have any line of sight of where they're coming from. So you don't really know like what direction to run away to. Whereas on this map, like it felt like, you know, it's very obvious I'm going to come from the hook and I'm going to chain, like I'm going to be chainsawing in a straight line. I don't know. It's, it's tough. I, I felt like that didn't work at all. Like at all. That was like, my build was just completely ineffective in, in, in this game. So what are you going to do? GG's. All right, guys, that's going to be it for the Stealth Billy. We had two incredibly efficient games, and then we had one game where we didn't do literally anything at all. So, I mean, eh, I don't know. I don't know. Good build, bad build? I don't know, man. I think it's map dependent. I think it's map dependent and it's spine chill dependent is what it is. Uh, but either way, um, that was fun. I still had a good time doing it regardless. This build's really fun. I, dude, I don't know why. I just love doing stealth builds on, like, every killer. I might just do more videos that are just stealth builds on random killers. I just think it's so fun. It's such a neat way to play the game. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did like this video, feel free to leave it a like. It helps me out with the algorithm and helps the videos get out there to more people, which is always a good thing for me. Sub to the channel as well, because I'm going to be uploading mm, almost daily, j just about daily. And also feel free to st stop by my Twitch stream sometime. I'm live every day except for Saturday from 9 p.m. to 3 a.m. Eastern. So feel free to stop by and say hello. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a good rest. I have a good hope you guys have an awesome rest of your night. I'm out of here. See ya. Take care. See ya. I'm out of here. See ya. Uh, see ya later. See ya.